So the MacBooks have uh, great trackpads. We all know that they are responsive, they are smooth, but I'm gonna tell you a few four tricks which will make this work even better for you. So these are settings which are in the uh, pointer controls, in the trackpad controls rather. And the first one is tap to click. Now when you get a new Mac, it's off by default, which means that in order to you know tap, you have to actually click. You have to force down the finger slightly. And while it's uh, no hardship, uh, I would highly recommend that you switch on tap to click. What does it do? Well, once it's on, you can just tap, right? So it's, uh, it's a small, subtle thing, but you, this is a gesture that you will use the most in day-to-day -day computing. And so just having it as a tap instead of a click, it does uh, quality of life improvement for you. It, when it's done, by the way, it also affects the right click, the secondary click, right? So the secondary click is by default set to two finger tap, but if I switch off the uh, tap to click, it, you know, it only says two finger click. But if I switch this on, then it has an impact on the two finger gesture as well. And it allows you to do that with a tap as well. And what does that mean? It means that you can also now do a right click with a two finger tap, just like so. Rather than doing it, uh, you know, forcing down two fingers, you can just touch two fingers on the screen and that's your right click right over there. For the third setting, I'm gonna go into the accessibility controls. Within that, go to pointer controls. Within that, go to the trackpad options. And within that, there is a setting called enable drag. All right, and switch this on. It says enable drag with three fingers. So we'll switch this on. And what it lets us do is now, if I wanna drag something, I just don't have to click again. I just drag with three fingers and it's done. And, but default, of course, is to just click and drag, and that's perfectly fine, still works. But you can also now just use three fingers and just glide over it. it. Also works for text selection, by the way, right? So if you want to select text, yeah, there you go. Just with three fingers, I just drag it, and it immediately starts selecting the text. You can, of course, do it with single finger as well. But the three finger swipe, in my experience, is very, very handy. You get very used to it. It's dug inside the accessibility settings, and so it's a little hard to find but it's worth your while to change that. The fourth thing it goes uh, that you will want to check is in the more options uh, in, the, uh, in the last tab. And if you look at the top, it says, well, move between pages with two fingers. Don't touch that, that's perfectly fine. I just want to explain the difference between this one and the next one. So this one is for within the applications, right? So if you are, for example, in a browser, two finger swipe will get you to the next page and the previous page. It works in most apps, by the way. So that works within an application. But if you want to swipe between full screen apps, uh, then by default it's set to four finger swipe. And so four finger swipe will take you from one screen app to another. And you just wanna check that it is it is set to four fingers because if you set it now to three fingers, which is an option like this, uh, this will now work with three fingers, but it will remove the drag with three fingers that we just set within the accessibility controls because there's a conflict between this option and that options if we set this one to three fingers. So leave it at four. And even if you reset it to four, you'll have to go back to accessibility and re-enable your uh, click to drag option over there, <clears throat> right? So that's uh, all set now. And uh, now you have the, you know, the tap, the two finger tap for the right click. Um, then you have the three finger for the drag, right? So you got the right click right there. And then you have your drag with three fingers and with four fingers, you can go from one to, so that's the one, two, three, four, if you like, of the trackpad options that I like to set up on my Macs. Uh, finally, I would request you to please subscribe to the channel. I started this YouTube thing about a year ago and apparently you're supposed to ask and request people to subscribe. And I have no idea because I was new to this, so I've never actually done this. And right now I'm trying to you know, increase the subscriber count because I wanna be part of the YouTube uh, partner program. And so I'd really appreciate if you subscribe. If you're already subscribed, I would also appreciate if you could ask a friend to subscribe. Uh, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.